<laughs> uh, I don't feel that good, but anyways. What's up, everybody? And today, we are going to make an iceberg video. This iceberg was made by me, and I changed some things, and I fixed a bit of things. But yeah, it's basically just still the same. Uh, before I start this video, I want to give a quick shout out to Velvet and Dave Kerr. Anyways, let's get into the video. The surface. Thumpies. Thumpies was a game that was developed by Big Blue Bubble back in 2010. It's basically an oddball rhythm game where you have to press the correct drum when a thumpy lands. There are a few thumpy references in My Singing Monsters and later we got a revamp called My Singing Monsters Thumpies. Fling a thing. Fling a Thing is basically a game that was developed by Big Blue Bubble that got discontinued. In the game, you had to pull the tail of a sucky, or a thing, depending on how you call it, and the suck your thing will begin to catch bubbles for you. There are a few references from Fling a Thing and my singing monster, monsters, such as Epic Scups, or even the Freed Thing. Supernatural Monsters this entry basically just refers to the supernatural monsters, those being Wobox and the Wobblins. Nothing more, nothing less. Pomely. This entry refers to the Pom Pom family or Pomely. The Pomely consists of the monsters Pom Pom, Hula, Souza, Ruba, and apparently Two Two Two. Early monster designs. This entry basically just refers to the early monster designs, such as Mammoth having a more shark-like appearance, but we'll get to that later. My Singing Monsters Life Streams This entry refers to the official My Singing Monsters Life Streams. In their live streams, they tease a bunch of stuff such as epics, updates, rares, and stuff like that. After that, they stopped doing live streams and began to make Fandemodium and did and then they made live streams once again. Pretty neat, huh? Farcorn's Jelly Dreams This entry refers to a discontinued Big Blue Bubble game titled Farcorn's Jelly Dreams. It was basically a three-match game where you would, well, separate jellies. The game was later discontinued and then replaced with by Jammer Splash, and Big Blue Bubble stated that the game won't get any updates once again because in favor of Jammer Splash. White Globies This entry refers to the White Globies. In order to get a White Globie, you need to combine a Blue Globie with an Orange Globie, resulting in a bluish colored Globie. Then combine that Globie with another Blue Globie, and it will give you another type of bluish Globie. Then combine that Globie with a Orange one, and then combine the result with a Blue one, and the list goes on. Glitches and Bugs this entry basically just refers to glitches and bugs in my singing monsters. Examples are Mace not having a nose and also Food having a mouth under his mouth. Dawn of Fire This entry refers to my singing monsters Dawn of Fire. The game happened before my singing monsters when the fire monsters were also on the natural islands in a, in a single continent literally named, well, the continent. After that, a cataclysm happened resulting all the fire monsters to disappear and the natural monsters to b live a normal life. There are still updates in my singing monsters down a fire, but we're not going to talk about them that much. My Singing Monsters Playground This entry on the iceberg refers to a Big Blue Bubble game that was released in 2021. In the game, you could see what the monsters are doing inside of a Wobox. I'm pretty sure what the game plot is. There are a bunch of mini games and decorations, with, with some of them being references to other games, and also the original My Singing Monsters game. Monster Bios this entry basically just refers to the monster bios. I don't recommend reading them, but anyway. The Shore Mimic Mimic was a scrap monster in my singing monsters. Its design looks like a pair with apparently three legs, which is kind of confusing. And the whole gimmick of Mimic was to record your own part and add it into the song. Later, Mimic was deleted and replaced by the recording studio. 
After that, it returned in Dawn of Fire with a new look, and instead of having the gimmick like the recording studio, it's instead voiced by the none other Dave Kerr. Hello, Dave. The Seam. The Seam is a metaphysical barrier that separates the monster world from the human world. There are a few islands that are close to the human world. Those are Sugarbush Island, Tribal Island, Gold Island, and Composer Island. The World Tree The World Tree, or Stable Majorica, is a gigantic tree that separates the monster world from the human world exactly like the seam. There are a few trees grown from the sap of the Stable Majorica, and those are the Great Tree from Thumpies and the Tall Tree from Flingafing. Punk Ping. This entry refers to a scrap monster in my singing monsters. The monster didn't have an official design, but the monster handler said that it had at a gangly body with a round head holding two ping pong paddles and two webbed feet. Punk Ping was later released in Dawn of Fire and my singing monsters. And it also has one of the best designs I've ever seen for a fire monster. Dr. Warden E. Spirit. This entry refers to Dr. Warden E. Spirit. His face was never shown, but he was the single person who discovered the epic monsters in my singing monsters. Amber. Amber is a substance that's found across the monster world and the human world. Examples of amber in the monster world are Amber Island and the Shard Mountains from Flingathing. Earth Island got its inspiration from Aetherial. I'm not going to explain it, but just take a listen. Uh, yeah, they actually sound similar. MSM Fan Art this entry on the iceberg basically refers to the My Singing Monsters fan art on Twitter and Facebook. Nothing more, nothing less. Fan made monsters. This entry is pretty self explanatory, but I'm not going to bother explaining it. It refers to the fan made monsters made by the My Singing Monsters community. Ox Seasonals. This entry refers to the seasonals that are founded on Fire Islands and Magical Islands. Ox Seasonals also have rare and epic variants too. Monster Code Names This entry refers to the code names of monsters in My Singing Monsters. Some of these code names are actually kind of funny, and an example is Squid Tree for Octopus. The Middle Radatut is Rudatut. This entry refers to the name of a level in Thumpies called Radatut. But, is it just me, or does this level name sound like the name of a fire monster? Yup, that's right. The word Radatut is a version of the word Rudatut, the name of a fire monster on Psychic Island. My Singing Monsters Rule 34 I'm not going to show any images because I'm going to get demonetized, but this entry basically refers to the R34 artwork on the website Rule 34. Nothing more, nothing less. My Muppets Show This entry refers to a game made by Disney and Big Blue Bubble called My Muppets Show. It was basically My Singing Monsters 2015, but instead of monsters, you collect Muppets. Actually, never played this game because I never heard of it, but yeah. Perplex Explorer Trolls. Welk, we are Hazard with this one for real. This entry refers to Spirit's Fire Oasis combination being Woolby and Snizer. After that, a bunch of people decided to to edit the breeding combination for Spirit on Fire Oasis and decided to put Brump and Wisp, Rare Wobox and Punkleton, uh, Boskus and Boskus and other stuff like that. But after Hermonculus released on Ethereal Island, they didn't know how to breed it. Dragon Neck Eye. If you look in the sprite sheets of the double ethereal monsters and look at the bottom, you will see that in Dragon's sprite sheet, you could see that he has on his neck an eyeball, which looks pretty cursed. Unused Starhenge Sigils 
This entry basically refers to this image, which is a unused sigil for the store hinge, which is basically just an arrow pointing at something, and I don't know at what it's pointing. Unused Donafire Structures and Decorations This entry refers to the unused decorations and structures in Dawn of Fire. For the structures, we have the volcano, the whirlpool, the satellite, the piggy bank, the referral stand, and the wishing well. As for the decorations, we have the coral statue, the spirit statue, the colossal totem, and the toasty bonfire. I only counted a few because there are too many decorations, but yeah. Piggy bank. Although we covered this already, the piggy bank was an unused structure in Dawn of Fire. You would basically store diamonds in it because in its sprite sheets you could see a diamond. Gobbly Gourd in Dawn of Fire This entry basically refers to the fact that Gobbly Gourd was supposed to be in Dawn of Fire because in its concept art or you could see a baby Gobbly Gourd, but it was never released officially in Dawn of Fire. Dawn of Fire Seasonals this entry basically refers to the Dawn of Fire seasonals, those being Punkleton, Yule, Smoochel, and Blabbit. All we need is now Hula and we can finish it! One of my favorite seasonals has to be Baby Yule. I mean, oh ho oh, oh. ho! Jammer Splash. This layer refers to a discontinued Big Blue Bubble game titled Jammer Splash. It was exactly like Furcorn's Jelly Dreams, but instead of separating jellies, you would separate some blocks with toe jammers on them. The bottom. Rare Screamu's lips. When Rare Screamu was added in My Singing Monsters, it used to have red lips. The lips were later changed to orange because it portrayed a native African. MSM Elsa Gate. This entry refers to the amount of children's content with MSM characters in them. These videos can sometimes be disgusting or stuff like that. Cursed Fan Art This entry refers to the amount of Cursed My Singing Monsters fan art across Twitter and Facebook. Some of this fan art can be disgusting. Grapefruit Grove this entry refers to the deleted Big Blue Bubble game titled Grapefruit Grove. In the game, you would decorate an island with various different trees and decorations, exactly like in My Singing Monsters. In the Echo of Echoes Amber Island skin, you could see some references to this game. I Oracle. This entry refers to a deleted Big Blue Bubble game which had the same gimmick as Grapefruit Grove. Instead of monkeys, the characters were these little people. Hamster Cannon. This entry refers to another discontinued Big Blue Bubble game titled Hamster Cannon. In the game, you would play as these little hamsters trying to get those currencies called, called noms. Deuce. This entry refers to the early version of Bisonorus called Deuce. Deuce was a scrap monster in Dawn of Fire and was never shown, but it was shown in a title screen. The Abyss Limbo Island This entry refers to a deleted and unused island in My Singing Monsters Dawn of Fire. The island's design was never shown and it still lost media. Shark Mott this entry refers to the early design of Mammoth. Originally, Mammoth was supposed to be the original water element, but was later replaced by Toad Jammer. Wobox used to produce diamonds. This entry refers to the fact that Wobox used to produce islands because it comes from the underground. Nothing more, nothing less. Birdos are cannibals. There's a theory that the Wordos from My Singing Monsters may not be as friendly as you see them. In Barcelona's lyrics, she says that every note becomes a monster. And in a promotional teaser for the Wordos, you could see Talker eating the note from a relic. So does that mean that Wordos are actually cannibals? Fooled You never releases officially. This entry refers to the April Fool's monster Fooled You. 
It was first released on April 1st, 2024, and a, a bunch of people thought it was going to release in My Singing Monsters. But sadly, it's just an April Fool's joke, and, and it will never release officially in My Singing Monsters. TCRF, The Cutting Room Floor This entry refers to the Cutting Room Floor website. On this website, you're going to find various different pages with unused content from video games, including My Singing Monsters. I'm going to show here a few unused graphics from My Singing Monsters, and those are an unused version of Riff, an unused version of Quarister, another unused version of Quarister, which was later used as Flute Fly, and an unused version of Sponge. Creepy Plant Island MIDI Track this entry refers to a creepy mini plant island soundtrack. I'm just going to play it and I'm just showing you how creepy it is actually. Unused Monsters this entry refers to the unused scrapped monsters, and those are Mimic, Flute Fly on Earth Island, Fooled You, and Deuce. Unused Shop Theme This entry refers to a unused shop theme in My Singing Monsters. The shop theme was later reused for the battle theme in the Colosseum. Yup, that was all the iceberg that I made myself, and it took a lot of effort and time to make this iceberg. Before leaving, I want to give more shoutouts to all of these people on, on the screen, and yes, goodbye.